All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 7. So I want to find the values of x and y. So for my solution, if I have something in the form 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7, I'm going to rewrite 7 as 4 plus 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 4 plus 3. And the reason I did this was because 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I get 2 squared plus 3. And notice how I have something in the form 2 to the power of number minus 3 to the power of number is equal to 2 to the power of number, and I also have 3 to the power of 1. Now from here, I'm going to group the powers of 2 together and group the powers of 3 together. So I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 3. And then I'm going to add 3 to the power of y on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now, for my left-hand side, I'm going to factor out 2 squared. So actually, instead, I should say I'm going to divide by 2 squared. So 2 to the power of x divided by 2 squared is equal to, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that's the same thing as 2 to the power of x minus 2. And then I have this minus 2 squared divided by 2 squared is 1. And now this is equal to, from on this side, I'm going to divide by 3. So I have 3 times 3 to the power of y divided by 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I get 3 to the power of y minus 1. And then 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So I get plus 1. Now from here, if I have something in form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x minus 2. And these two, and 2 and negative 2 cancel out, so I just get 2 to the power of x. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 is 2 to the power of x. And I have 2 squared times negative 1, which is negative 2 squared. And this is equal to... three to the power of y plus three. So I'm just checking if we distributed, or, or sorry, if we factored out right, and it looks like we did. So now going back here, let me rewrite this. I have two squared times two to the power of x minus two minus one is equal to three times one plus three to the power of y minus one. And notice how 2 squared, that's equal to 4, is an even number. And 2 to the power of x minus 2, well, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be odd. So we have an even number times an odd number is equal to 3 is an odd number, times 3 to the power of any number is an odd number, plus an odd number plus 1 is an even number. So you have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Now, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the even, odd numbers equal to each other and then the even numbers equal to each other. So this gives me two equations. I get 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And I also have 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. So let's first start with this equation. 
this is equal this is going to equal 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1 and this means that 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1 meaning y is equal to 2 so the value of y is 2 now for 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3 I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides so I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 4 and now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared so I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 squared and this means that <clears throat> x minus 2 is equal to 2 and if I add 2 on both sides these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 2 plus 2 which is 4 so my solution is x equals 4 and y is equal to 2 alright so in this problem I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x so I want to find the value of x here so for my solution I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation. So my equation is 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, to solve this, what I'm going to do is first factor out 2 to the power of 10 to my left-hand side. So if I factor out 2 to the power of 10, I get 2 to the power of 10 times, well, 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 10 is 1, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now from here, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so I get 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And a simpler way of doing this is instead of just factoring this out, well, we have two 2 to the power of 10s here, and if anything added by itself is the same thing as that number times 2. So we could have just said 2 to the power of 10 times 2 at the beginning instead of factoring it out. So now from here, what I want to do is I can actually do this, solve this from here in two methods. So for method 1, I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 as 2 to the power of 1. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 10 plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 11. So I get 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 11. Now, method 2 of solving the problem from this step right here. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, instead of multiplying 2, I'm going to divide 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of x over 2. Now 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 2 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x minus 1. And now again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 10 is equal to x minus 1, or I could write this as x minus 1 is equal to 10. And now if I add 1 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 10 plus 1, which is 11. So as you can see, these are the two methods, and method 1 is actually much simpler. It only took a couple of steps compared to method two. And now the final step that we have to do, and we always have to do this in every equation, is to check our answer. So our equation was two to the power of 10 plus two to the power of 10 
is equal to 2 to the power of x. We got x equals 11, so I get 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 2 to the power of 11. 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 times 2 to the power of 10. And 2, 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 10 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 plus 10, which is equal to 2 to the power of 11.